Earlier, we said that packages were implemented as directories containing a dunderinit.py file. This is true for most cases, but there are certain cases where you want to be able to split packages across multiple directories. This is useful, for example, when a logical package needs to be delivered in multiple parts, as happens in some of the larger Python packages. Several approaches to addressing this need have been implemented, but it was in PEP 420 in 2012 that an official solution was built into the Python language. This solution is known as namespace packages. A namespace package is a package which is spread over several directories, with each directory tree contributing to a single logical package from the programmer's point of view. Namespace packages are different from normal packages in that they don't have dunderinit.py files. This is important because it means that namespace packages can't have package-level initialization code. Nothing will be executed by the package when it's imported. The reason for this limitation is primarily that it avoids complex questions of initialization order when multiple directories contribute to a package. But if namespace packages don't have dunderinit.py files, how does Python find them during import? The answer is that Python follows a relatively simple algorithm to detect namespace packages. When asked to import the name foo, Python scans each of the entries in sys.path in order. If in any of these directories it finds a directory named foo containing dunderinit.py, then a normal package is imported. If it doesn't find any normal packages, but it does find foo.py or any other file that can act as a module, then this module is imported instead. Otherwise, the import mechanism keeps track of any directories it finds which are named foo. If no normal packages or modules are found which satisfy the import, then all of the matching directory names act as parts of a namespace package. As a simple example, let's see how we might turn the farm package into a namespace package called split farm. Instead of putting all of the code under a single directory, we would have two independent parts rooted at path1 and path2, like this. This splits the distribution of the farm package between birds and bovine, which seems pretty natural. Now, to import farm, you need to make sure that both path1 and path2 are in your sys.path. We can do that in a REPL like this. We put path1 and path2 at the end of sys.path. Now when we import split farm, we see that its dunder path includes portions from both path1 and path2. And when we import the bird and bovine subpackages, we see that they are indeed coming from their respective directories. There are more details to namespace packages, but this addresses most of the important details that you'll need to know. In fact, for the most part, it's not likely that you'll need to develop your own namespace packages at all. If you do want to learn more about them, though, you can start by reading PEP420 at www.python.org slash dev slash peps slash pep hyphen 0420.